What is up, my Butter Biscuits? Within today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Grammys, because I do have to say, this one was a little bit messy. I feel like for the most part, obviously, there's always a little bit of drama or there's like rumors speculated, but with this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, we got like Nicki Minaj stuff over here, and then the guy who beat her killer Mike getting arrested on site, and then we have like Taylor Swift drama, we have Miley Cyrus drama, we have a whole bunch of stuff, which normally I would have like talked about within my podcast. However, we're gonna do like a Valentine's Day episode, and I'm like, oh, it's gonna end up being 10 days later. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and film this video because low key this is like the first time where I was like really engaged in the Grammys I don't know why for some reason like you know every now and then I'll watch but I'm like eh, it's a little bit boring but then this year I was like oh wow this was like a really good one I don't know why for some reason I kind of prefer the MTV um, awards a little bit better only because I feel like they're more messy and more dramatic the Grammys I do feel like are a little bit more elegant do you know what I mean but then this year I was like hmm there was a lot of mishaps going on over there, but I do have to say, I was low-key kind of here for it. Also, I feel like everyone else was because they had posted that this is like their highest viewings in the past, I want to say four years or something like that, which I was like, okay, for obvious reasons, you know? Anyways, so we're going to be talking about that within today's video. Also, don't forget, um, I have a podcast channel. It'll be linked down below. And I do want to say, okay, I haven't said this as of yet because y'all know every single time I say something, like, I kind of fall off of it, you know? Like, I kind of suck with, like, making, like, promises and, like, sticking to my work. You know what I mean? But I have been uploading every Wednesday at 10 a.m. So I'm trying to make that an ongoing thing. So I feel like I've been doing really, really good with it. It is a little bit tricky now, obviously, running three channels. And I'm, like, trying my hardest to get back onto TikTok and, like, really be persistent with TikTok and be, or persistent, that's my word? No, consistent, consistent with TikTok. I'm just like, y'all, I don't know why for some reason I always like fall off the wagon over there and I'm like, okay, TikTok really does bring in the most views these days and then I see people are getting paid pretty damn good for it. So I'm like, I really need to start shifting my content on there. So I'm like, oh, yo, I got a lot of work cut out for me, but I have been doing really good at posting my, um, podcast at 10 a.m. If you guys have not checked out the podcast, make sure you guys go check it out. It is a good time over there. It's a good vibe. And then also my travel channel will be linked down below too. And TikToks for both of those as well. And then I am going to be doing like little drama videos on my TikTok, y'all. Like I am like forcing myself to do it because if you guys did not see in previous videos, I just for some reason don't know why like y'all, I don't, I don't know why for some reason I just feel like, I don't know, I like sitting in front of the lights and like filming YouTube videos. But then I feel like for TikTok, it's like sit on the couch. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just wouldn't set up all my lights and like a camera for TikTok, I would just sit on my couch and just do it on my phone. So I just feel like it's like mm, two different things. Anyways, but I will be having the I don't know, I will be having those linked down below. So if you guys are interested in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I do want to talk about within today's video is Nicki Minaj because I do feel like there is some shady stuff going on with Nicki Minaj, y'all. And obviously I'm sure you guys had already saw and we briefly talked about it on my podcast about the Megan the Stallion drama with Nicki Minaj. And look, I think it's so crazy to see so many people get on the internet and hate on Nicki Minaj and I'm like let's just keep it real a month ago you guys were eating it up do you know what I mean but then as soon as Megan Thee Stallion like made this one joke inside of her you know song everyone's like going crazy at her and I'm like oh my gosh y'all also in my personal opinion I am so sorry but I grew up in the 90s my parents both of them loved Biggie and Tupac and this day and age y'all I am so sorry to see people on TikTok saying like oh my gosh Nicki Minaj is just such a bully like what Megan Thee Stallion said was kind of funny and it was witty and it was smart but then they're calling Nicki Minaj a bully I'm sitting over here like, okay, do you guys not know how rap works? Like, this is the whole premise of rap. It's like throwing shade at one another. It's having bars against one another. It's throwing, you know, shade. That's just what it is. And I'm like, I feel like this generation, if they think this is bullying, go back and listen to Biggie and Tupac. It's like, the things that they would say about each other, like, this new generation would not be able to survive. I'm like, yo. Maybe that's why I grew up with a different mindset, and I just feel like rap is just meant to be a little bit shady at times, and that's why I low-key kind of like it. Anyways, this has nothing to do with Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj's beef. This has to do with the Grammy specifically because it was being reported all over Twitter that Grammy had already announced to their website, um, the actual Grammy Award website, that Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice won for their Barbie World collaboration for the Barbie movie soundtrack. And I think that this is so shady because actually even when you Google her name, you type in Nicki Minaj Grammy, it popped up that she was a winner for that award, which was the um, nominated rap song, right? And I just have to say, this to me is really, really fishy. Like, to my understanding, I feel like this is low-key intentional. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Every other category, when they had the winners correct, it was correct. Nicki Minaj was the one and only that was not correct. So I'm like, what's going on with this? I don't know if the Grammy Association saw that she was recently in beef really big time. 
and they're like, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and change this. And maybe it was already inputted in the system that she was going to be the winner, but then maybe all this stuff popped off with Megan Thee Stallion and they're like, whoa, you know what? Maybe this is not going to look good on the Grammys behalf. Cause I really do feel that the Grammys is that type of society, that type of like corporation, you know, that group of people that really want to like look good and like maintain their image. And I think that if they would have awarded Nicki Minaj right now, when she's like going on off on this like Twitter rant and like y'all, like everything that she's like saying and going off on live, I'm like, maybe that's why they didn't want to give it to her in my personal opinion. But I do think that this does read very shady. Cause I'm like, why does it say on their actual website? And it does say on Google that she was a winner. And then no, it turns out that this guy killer Mike was actually the winner of that category. And I'm like, um, this is a little bit shady. Come on, you guys are the Grammys here. I'm sure you guys had it intact, but I just really think that, I don't know, I think that maybe the drama between Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki had a little bit to do with it. Maybe they were like, you know what? This is not gonna look good on the Grammys behalf, so let's just go ahead and scrap this and give it to somebody else. That's just my own little conspiracy theory over here only because I'm just like, why would you have it on there? And why was every other category correct except for Nicki Minaj? And I don't know, y'all. I just feel like it sucks because, oh my gosh, during this, if you guys saw my podcast, I am a barb down to the core. Like, I am sorry. I don't care what I have so much love for Nicki Minaj I feel like she is so talented and honestly whether you want to say like oh Megan Thee Stallion is better or like Cardi B is better whatever Nicki Minaj is the literal like blueprint of the whole female rap game yes I understand Lil Kim was like out there and she did popularize it kind of but Nicki Minaj took it to a whole nother level that it has never seen before that Lil' Kim just quite didn't get to. Do you know what I mean? That's no shade towards Lil' Kim. I love Lil' Kim too. But I just feel like Nicki Minaj, y'all, like she just woo, put it on the map for female rap. And I just feel like a lot of people throw a lot of shade at her. But I do have to keep it real though. And I feel like a lot of people throw shade at her because she does kind of come off very arrogant, very conceited, very cocky. And I think that, that rubs people the wrong way. And I really do get the impression that she probably wants people to like bow down to her. And I think that's where people are like, I'm not gonna do that. Like yeah, I look up to you and I think you're talented, but I'm not going to bow down to you and kiss your feet. You know what I mean? And I think that's the type of energy that Nicki Minaj gives in my personal opinion. But speaking of Killer Mike, he got arrested on site, which I just saw, oh my gosh, this was icing on the cake. So he ended up winning within the category that Nicki Minaj was supposed to win, right? He ends up winning. And then he, I, I want to say he won like three awards. Don't quote me on that. I didn't read up on it, but I'm pretty sure I saw that. And then he got arrested, y'all, for assault at the damn Grammys. Like he got arrested there. I was like, oh my gosh, like at the Grammys, like that has to low key be embarrassing. And I don't know. I, look, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Um, I didn't really like read into it. So when I had like saw, you know, like little brief clips of it or like tweets of it or whatever, I was like, um, how do you win these awards and like get arrested at the Grammys? Like, I'm sorry. In my personal opinion, I feel like that is just really, really messy. Moving on to the next topic, I want to talk about Miley Cyrus because they are saying that she threw shade at her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus. I don't know if you guys had heard before. I want to say like for the past couple years, it is being rumored that like Noah Cyrus and um, Billy Ray Cyrus are kind of like on one side over here. And then Miley Cyrus and Tish Cyrus are on one side over here. It is being rumored and alleged that like Noah Cyrus and Miley have and talked for a while, which I think is really unfortunate because it has something to do with their parents' divorce. So when Miley Cyrus actually won her Grammy, they're saying that she threw shade at her dad. And um, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of a TMZ article in just a bit to give you guys a little bit more context. But I do want to say before getting into it, I think that it is unfortunate that they're going like or if they are going through something and that she is throwing a little bit shade because honestly, y'all, to my understanding, like he wrote a lot of her songs. So I do feel like even though, hey, maybe, you know, I don't know i feel like maybe he may have messed up in her personal life but when it comes down to you know her career he's really helped catapult her career so i feel like even though they're maybe i'm just different y'all i don't know maybe this is like stupid of me but i feel like if somebody helped me make it to the top even if i didn't talk to them at the moment even if i was beefing with them even if i never would speak to them again i would still be like you know what i'm gonna give credit where credit is due and thanks to my or you know what, call him by name. Thanks to Billy Ray Cyrus. Do you know what I mean? Rather than saying dad, you know? Anyways, this is what it says right here on TMZ. It says, the former Disney star went through the laundry list of people she wanted to thank. Her team, everyone on stage with her, her BF Max Miranda, as well as her mom, Tish Cyrus, and her sister, Brandy Cyrus, but uh, Billy didn't get a coveted shout out. The snub was even more pronounced as Miley made a concerted uh, effort to ensure she didn't overlook anyone. And she did, y'all, when I was watching it, she was like looking around like, you know, it seemed a little bit hammed up in my personal opinion. Turning to her team behind her, asking anyone else, your wife, your fiance, all the people that we love, thank you all so much, and obviously didn't mention Billy Ray Cyrus. Even her undergarments got a playful shout out as she joked, I don't think I forgot anyone, but I may have forgotten underwear, bye. But as for a mention of Billy, nada. 
And this is just a brief little thing over here of what TMZ had to say. They said the omission may be a wholly innocent uh, slip of the mind or may allude to an extension of reports from 2022 that Miley's relationship with Billy was strained following his divorce from Tish, who attended the Grammys with her daughter. And they also did report too before that like Noah, I guess, like made a comment about Miley and I guess they haven't really been talking either. I don't know what's up with the tea on that, but I think that that sucks, y'all. Like, I don't know, maybe he did something a little bit shady, you know, like maybe he cheated on Tish. I don't know. I remember seeing like headlines during that time, but I didn't really like read up on it. Um, there is another thing that I want to talk about, y'all. And this, I am so sorry, but this like really low-key triggered me because I don't know if you guys saw, obviously, everyone was making a big deal that Taylor Swift won album of the real album of the year for the fourth time. And a lot of people were really triggered that she was dragging Lana Del Rey up on stage because Lana Del Rey was actually in the same category for album of the year and obviously lost. And she was dragging her up on stage because she is part of the album, you know? But obviously she lost to Taylor Swift and I know that they're friends and I know that they collaborated together, you know, but I just feel like this was really kind of selfish. Do you know what I mean? Because can you imagine being in that category and you just lost and that's your friend and you have to like obviously be gracious about it because it's your friend and you want to be supportive. But then you're like, damn, like I could have won too, you know, she literally grabbed Lana Del Rey and like forced her to come up on the stage. And if you guys watched it, you guys can see Lana Del Rey was like, um, no, I just want to sit back. Like, no, 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 no. Do you know what I mean? Which I would be the same way i'd be like i don't want to go up there like okay this is your moment have your moment don't drag me into it like what i just lost you know but i do want to say this and i actually saw this from spill sesh's tiktok she released this TikTok, and this was a thing right here where I was just like, um, what's going on here? So this is a little bit of a statement. I don't know if this is 100% accurate. I don't know if this is, you know, 100% legit. But Spill Sesh, I feel like is pretty good with her reporting, and I feel like mm, normally she's pretty good. You know what I mean? So there is a person who was actually a voter for the Grammys who had put out a statement and said, I haven't taken Lana Del Rey seriously as an artist since her infamous SNL performance and never will. I am so sorry, y'all, but her SNL performance that he was specifically talking about or this person was talking about is from like 2004 or something like that. Like, I don't know. She had played it in her clip. It was from a long time ago. And I'm like, this irritates me because to my understanding, I feel like the Grammy people who are, you know, voting for the winner should take into consideration the album and the album only. It is for album of the year. It's not for your favorite person. It's not for who you like the best. It's not who you think has the best vocals. It's not who you think has the best style. It's for the album of the year. So me even hearing that from an alleged Grammy voter, I'm like, that's not okay. Or Grammy judge, I should say. I think that's really messed up. And I'm like, where, like, honestly, y'all, if this is true, if this statement is true from this guy, I really do think that he should be X'd out. Like he should not be on the committee of the Grammys because you shouldn't be factoring in an SNL performance. You know what I mean? Like I just, I don't know. I thought that was really messed up. But anyways, y'all, she dragged up Lana Del Rey onto the stage and while she was accepting her award, she completely ignored Celine Dion. And I was scrolling through Twitter at the time of this. I was watching the Grammys live and I was like, damn, immediately people were heated. That like Celine Dion, first of all, she's going through um stiff person syndrome, which basically is like a, like, I, I I don't know exactly what to call it. I don't want to call it a disease, but maybe it is a disease. I don't know. You guys know I'm going to sound ignorant with that because I'm not educated in that realm. But basically, it's a syndrome that your body just completely goes stiff. And like, as soon as it progresses more and more and gets worse, like basically, she's not going to be in control of her body. Like she won't be able to move. So it's really rare for her to even make a sighting these days. And the fact that she came out to present album of the year, it was low key a little bit disrespectful because you guys know that normally when anybody's presenting award, like the person who won the award will give a person a hug and say hi or whatever you know perfect example is like when Miley Cyrus won her first Grammy of the night she shouted out Mariah Carey because Mariah Carey uh, presented her award you know and Taylor Swift just completely ignored Celine Dion I do want to say this though in my personal opinion I feel like she was just obviously wrapped up in the moment and she was so excited because I think it was posted that she actually broke history that she's like the first artist to win four album of the years y'all so I think that she was just like wrapped up in it and there was uh, pictures posted later on of her taking a picture with Celine Dion and I think that just in that moment she was just like oh my gosh like I gotta give my you know 
thank you speech and obviously she dragged Lana up on the stage and I just felt like there's so many things going through her head so I'm not trying to defend her I know that obviously the internet was like going in on her but I could see how that could be an innocent mistake because she's so wrapped up and excited in my personal opinion but anyways y'all that is it for this video make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about each topic y'all let me know what you think about the Taylor Swift situation I feel like this is being made out to be so big and I'm like y'all she posted a picture with Celine Dion later and everyone's obviously like oh her PR team had her do that so that way she didn't look bad but I'm like I don't know just picture yourself winning this award and like breaking history and it's like okay you're really excited do you know what I mean I don't know that's just me but make sure you guys let me know your two cents on everything and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace out Girl Scout